Welcome to the Lima Church of God of Prophecy. Our host pastor is Pastor Michael A. Robinson. Our first lady is Sister Jean Robinson. Our mantra is the dead cannot praise God. Join us every Sunday morning for our live worship service at 10.30 a.m. And I promise you that when Jesus touch you, you will never be the same again. A blessing awaits you.
I want you to just lift your feet with me this morning. Tell our God, He can do It doesn't matter what you're going through this morning. It doesn't matter the cares of this world. Our God can't do anything this morning. Most righteous and eternal God, we come into your presence, God Almighty. Mighty God, it's not by self this morning why we are here. God, what is because of your grace? Grace and mercy that this morning has brought us through. And God, we are living this moment, God Almighty, because of you. God Almighty, we are here to worship you. God, we are here to give you thanks for the blessing, God Almighty, that you have bestowed upon our lives. God, you open our eyes this morning. God, it wasn't by chance, and it wasn't by accident. But oh God, we have a reason this morning to worship you. God, we have a reason this morning to praise you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Lord, for today. Thank you for the blessings, mighty God. Thank you for the doors of opportunity that you have opened up for your children this morning. Heavenly Father, I pray, God Almighty, in this new ministry session, God. I put the young people before you this morning, God Almighty. The enemy desires to stick us like we this morning. But Heavenly Father, we are claiming victory in the name of Jesus, God Almighty. Your blood was shed, God Almighty, to redeem us from our sinful way this morning. Thank you, God, for reminding us this morning that we have an heart for pet with the Father this morning. God Almighty, we put today's service before you. God, we put the one that stands to lead the service. God, we put the message before you this morning, Jesus. Have your way, Lord. Have your way in our service. God, have your way in the heart and mind of your people. Help us not to forget, God Almighty, that we are not our own. We are pilgrims passing through this morning. God Almighty, help us, God, to stand and to clear your name. No matter where we are, God, and no matter where we go, help us to declare the great I am that I am that lives with inside of us. God, you said it, and we believe it this morning that you will never leave us comfortless. God Almighty, and that you will never forsake us this morning. Mighty God, 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 you said it, God, and I believe this morning that one shall chase a thousand this morning, and two shall put ten thousand to flight. Help us to stand on your word this morning, God. Help us to stand on your promise. God, that you will never leave us comfort. This even when our backs are against the wall, help us to realize, God, that we are not alone. God Almighty, but you are with us, God. Continue to strengthen us, God, on this journey. Oh, God, those who are getting weak on the journey, God Almighty, I pray for strength from above this morning. Those who cannot see any other way this morning, show them that you are the way, you are the truth, and you are the life this morning. Almighty oh, God, remove the scales from our eyes this morning, God Almighty, that we may behold and see the wondrous word of thy Lord this morning. God Almighty, help us to follow our steps in your word. Oh God, help us to see things like you see things this morning. Open our ears, God Almighty, that we hear when you cry out unto us, Lord. Here am I, here am I. Mighty God, I leave today's service in your hands, and I tell you that in Jesus' name. Amen. Our scripture reading will be taken from Proverbs 15, verses 1 to 21, and it will be read by the Minister Perry. But be ready. The tongue of the wise is a foolish man, but the mouth of the fool for it will foolish man. The eyes of the Lord are in the way, beholding the evil and the way. A wholesome son is a tree of life, but perverseness therein is a breach in the spirit. A fool despises his father's instruction. But he that provided the food is children. In the house of the righteous is much treasure, but in the revenues of the wicked is destroyed. The lips of the wise is first honey, but the heart of the foolish goeth not away. The sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination unto the Lord, but the prayer of the upright is in his delight. The wicked is an abomination to the Lord, but he loveth him that followeth after righteousness. Correction is grievous and the first thing is to be and he that hates it repeats all the time. Hell and destruction are for the Lord, how much more than the heart of the children of God. A spurner loveth not one that repeats him, neither will he go unto the world. A merry heart maketh a cheerful confidence, but by sorrow of the heart is broken. The heart of him that understanding is set by it, but the most of those eat it up. All the days of the afflicted are evil, but the, but the 
see that he's not a married partner at the moment. Better is to see with the fear of the Lord than great pleasure and trouble there. Better is a dinner of herb where love is than a stall of and hatred there with a wrathful man turned up the head, but he that is so the way of the slightful man is, an, is as a head of thorn, but the way of the righteous is a place. A wise son make it a glad father, but a foolish man despises his mother. Folly is joy that is destitute of wisdom, but a man who understands his walk is good. Where in the person of God will be worthy of the Lord. We'll be singing from our banner here, 212, keep on the fire and fire. If you're in the battle for the Lord and right, Keep on the fire and light. If you win my brother, surely you must fight. Keep on the fire and light. There are many dangers that we all must face. But if we die the fight, we need no disgrace. Crowding in the service, we will find no place. So keep on the fire and light.
How are you today? Wonderful. All right, so my name is Dorita Smith Forsyth, and I will be today's PR. First, let me acknowledge our pastor, Pastor Michael A. Robinson, and his sons, Michael and Justin Robinson. Welcome to our members and visiting friends and our online viewers. It is indeed a pleasure, or indeed a pleasure to have you in the house of the Lord today. And we would like to give thanks because we have been granted another chance by God to fellowship together. By way of announcement, next week, Sunday, November the 10th, will be our annual rally beginning at 7 p.m. sharp. Please make every effort to promote. Refreshments will also be on. Marley and Kahan will be having their in-gathering gather, in on November 17th, beginning at 6 o'clock. Please bring an item. Also, the Summerton United Church is inviting us to their rally on Sunday, November 24th at 5 p.m. Admission adults 300 and children 100. Before I leave, let me be the same. Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouth, but only what is helpful for the building up of others, according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. Have a blessed day. Thank you. At this time, we'll be collecting the times by offering. I'm going to ask Sister uh, Simone and uh, Ariana to collect. Um, Sister Bell, sorry. We'll be singing, I command you, Satan, in the name of the Lord. I command you, Satan, in the name of the Lord. Drop your weapons and flee. For the Lord has given me authority to call over you. We are going to walk over you. Walk over you. Walk all over you. Walk over you. Thank you. 
At this time, we'll be having a selection from the youth. Sister Danny. Hallelujah, bless the Lord. This song has been on my heart, and uh, I just hope it will be a blessing to somebody today, because it has been a blessing to me, and I just pray that it will bless somebody's heart today. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Lord Jesus, I long to be perfect. Forever to live in my soul. Break down every idol, cast out every foe. Lord, wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Whiter than snow. Oh, 
Lord Jesus, for this I most humbly entreat. I wait, blessed Lord, at thy crucified feet. By faith for my cleansing, I see thy blood flow. Now wash me.
Come and lift your voices and declare, lead me, Lord. That's from Job 14. When he calls, I will answer. Amen. Praise the Lord. I greet you well in the precious name of Jesus. Greetings. It's good to be here in the Lord's day. Amen. Worship, Lord. Let me just say welcome, Brother Gillette, from your 
work, but stay away from home. You're home. Amen? There is nowhere like home. Amen? So I greet you, those who are with us and those who are on land with us. I greet you well. Uh, this morning I said to myself, why we started out with hurricane thing and it seems like the season has been with me. Amen? Because there's a tropical wave passing by, expect to do some damage. They said, but we are praying that there will be no loss of life. Amen? Praise the Lord. And I just want to say to us, after the children walk out to go to practice, we have a key lock that door. Go in, stay in. Amen? And stop walking in and out. Amen. Next week, Sunday evening, is our rally, all right? So please be reminded and be expect to have my practice after church and in the week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, right, Mr. William? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And I am online and I know. So what I'm going to say, I will leave that until we are off some of it. We just want to be praying for the Gardens family, that brother Wayne family. Mr. Hallin has passed yesterday morning after they sent her for a journey ride from the hospital driver to Kingston Friday morning. When I called by error, by mistake, I was trying to call Brother Lawrence and I called her instead. And she said to me, Mr. Pastor, just reach. Kingston at the chest hospital. Okay, ma'am. When you're settled in, I call you back. Yesterday morning, got a call that when she went to Kingston, there was no documentation. Not the blood. So they have to send her back to family. <laughs> Not the blood. So they send her back to the hospital. And she just died yesterday morning. You know. So I was there with them yesterday evening. Amen? So I went to visit the family yesterday evening. But I want to say this. We've got to put our trust in God. All right? Because we are trusting friends and man too much. And they are failing us. And sometimes I say to myself, why? You know, I have to be like the dog. When the dog goes in the pan, you know, when he comes out, you know, nobody can take the water off him, but you have to shake it off by himself. But I want to say this. So I was talking to the starting sister, you know, a high court is swollen, and she said to me, she said to me, you know that I have a brother on my father's side died recently. That we buried yet. I know a sister and a mother side by. So and she have a brother, died and a sister. No, I said, Lord, I'm in a good place. Amen, somebody. So sometimes we are worrying, and I just want to say this to us, my brothers and sisters. What is happening around us now? Take it serious. Just take it serious. All of this I'm talking about is not free. Go to things. They pay their money already. They're not touch her yet. And the money to you. <laughs> Amen, somebody. So listen to me. I'm just saying this. To say that before I get into the world that, you know, uh, we can have money. But it can't help us. Amen. My security is in the Almighty God. Amen, somebody. So, if, I, if the pastor comes here and says, Oh, we have money, but there are times we have it, and it can't help us. Even we buy the food with it, we can't even eat it. Amen. Somebody give the Lord praise. Amen. And so, we got to pray for them and pray for, you know, people.
Amen. Youth ministry. I want to speak to us today from the book, Old Testament, like the book of Job. Job chapter 14. It's a popular. Welcome, sir. That's Brother Sister Lalu's father, right? Yes, man. Welcome. I just want to recognize you. All right? Job chapter 14. And I want to read three verses here. Verse 7 to 9. For there is hope for a tree if it be cut down that it will sprout again and that the tender branches thereof will not see. Though the root thereof walks whole in the hurt, and the stock thereof die in the ground, yet though the scent of water it will bud, bring forth God life. Father, I thank you again for today. We thank you, Lord, for being. Good God to us. We are grateful for this opportunity that we can come together in your house in this time and this season. I pray even now that the Holy Spirit may bring inspiration. Touch our hearts. Touch our bodies. Keep us from the hands of death as we give you all the glory and the praise. Amen. So I want to use from this text, if you, you know, the topic, the expectation of change. Expectation of change. So expectation, strong belief that something will happen. Something will happen. If you have great expectation, you think something good will come to you or come your way. But if keeping your expectation low, you won't risk being disappointed. Amen. When you have high expectation for something, to happen. Boy, you are joyful. But sometimes you say, boy, I'm not going to risk it. You know? I'm going to keep it kind of low because I'm not sure if this thing which I'm looking for or hoping for will come to pass. Amen. So, expectation in God means we have confidence, courage, and a deep conviction that nothing will stop us from accomplishing God's dream for the world. I know all of us at times in our lives have expectations. But at times, what we are looking for does not happen. We become disappointed in what is happening around us. Amen, somebody. But it's Psalm, in Psalms 5 and verse 3. Shall thou, thou shalt hear in the morning, O Lord. In the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee and will look up. Amen? What the writer was saying, because of the expectation 
that God will answer his prayer. He will pray to God, waiting for an answer. Many of us are praying, make declarations, and still waiting. At times we, when we make these declarations, we see nothing coming our way. Amen, somebody. But God will still come true for us. Write us in some in waiting, having an expectation. He said, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. Because he had an expectation that God will answer him. He's looking where we know God is. He's looking because he knows that God is seated in heaven. Amen, somebody. He's looking knowing that God will send a word to his spirit to bring deliverance. Hallelujah. To motivate him. Amen, somebody. He said, my help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. So the writer knows who he's talking to. He's talking to the creator of the universe. He knows that God is sovereign and holy. He knows that God always listens and hunts a prior. Amen, somebody. And so, he said, he will look to him. He said, my help come from the Lord, which have made heaven and heard. So, I'm saying to us, my brothers and sisters, most of the time, most of the time, we as God's people, we try to put our trust Amen, somebody. In the human. In Jeremiah, when he write, he said that some trust in chariot, but some in horses. You say the horses, they are flesh, they are not God. Amen, somebody. Uh, uh, oh, God, but he said, uh, I will put my trust in the Almighty God. Amen, somebody. So my expectation uh, is that when I call upon the Lord, uh, he will answer us. Uh, Amen, somebody. It doesn't matter what we are going to. God will answer uh, in his time uh, and his season. Amen. Change means to be modified. You know, some of us, our behavioral pattern need to be modified. Amen, somebody. You know, this sometimes... Uh, we have some cars, and I use it this way. And they modify the car when you look at it. Uh, it was a Toyota, but when you look, you think uh, it is uh, a, a, a Nissan. Uh, amen, somebody. You have changed the feature uh, of that car and put it in the way they want it. Uh, there are some of us behavioral pattern as human need to be modified. Uh, Amen, somebody. Uh, amen, church of the living God. Uh, some of us as believers, uh, our ways and behaviors need to be modified. Uh, our oh God need to be changed. Uh, amen, somebody. Uh, need to be changed. Touch your neighbor. Need a change. Amen, church of the living God. Uh, modify me uh, to make God uh, to become different. Uh, Amen. Oh God, we need to become different in this world. The world is waiting on us as believers to change. That change to be in us first. We can't live like the world when we are walking with 
God. When we are called children of God, the world of an expectation in us as believers, come on somebody. Amen. So we need to be changed, to be modified. Amen. Somebody. We were living in the world as sinners. Amen. Somebody. God has called us and he placed in us his Holy Spirit. That means we need a change and we got the change to look like Jesus. Amen. Somebody. We but will oh hallelujah to be like Jesus in this season, in this time we are living in. Somebody praise him. So we can't. Hello. Hello. Do we, 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 we cannot in this season keep on walking in the whole man. Tell somebody we can't continue to walk in the whole man. When things are, everything is going down around us. Oh, we can't still walk in the whole man. Hallelujah. God expects us to change. So change mean that we know our behavior. Amen, somebody. To lose the original identity. Do you know some of us have our original identity? My preaching up here. Huh? Some of us have an original identity. People know that way. Huh? People know. Huh? Oh, hallelujah. Huh? There are some folks. Huh? People look at them before. Huh? Know the different identity. And say, this, that person huh? was a witchcraft worker. Huh? Amen. Or a sorcerer. Or huh? a liar. Or huh? a thief. Or a monger. Amen. Somebody. But when you modify your behavior, huh? you become a child of God. Huh? Amen. Church of the living God. Huh? And when you modify we can't go back. Uh, we can't turn back uh, and live the way we used to live. Uh, amen. Somebody, uh, somebody shouted, We can't go back uh, and live the way uh, we used to live uh, when Jesus is returning. Oh, amen. Somebody, amen. Somebody, we lose original identity. Are to be transformed. Uh, this means a change. Uh, Paul in Romans 12, verse 2 said, And be not conformed uh, to this world. Uh, hear me, my brothers and sisters. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, there's never a time in our lives as believers. Uh, be conformed to the world. Uh, everything the world is doing uh, as believers. We want to be a part of it. Uh, amen, somebody. Uh, every joke they make, we want to be a part of it. Everything they are doing. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm just preaching here. I'm just preaching. I'm just saying something here. Uh, we want to be a part of it. Uh, amen, somebody. But we can't uh, be a part of it. Uh, you see, can I tell somebody here? Uh, we are living in this world. Uh, but we are not of this world. Uh, we are pilgrims and strangers uh, passing through. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, can I preach up here a little bit more? Uh, you see, when the world uh, let things take over our lives, uh, we can't shine. Uh, but the Bible says uh, we are a light. Uh, set on a hill. Uh, cannot be hidden. My brothers and sisters, uh, we are the light of the world. Uh, oh. God, oh God, oh God. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. Be not conformed to this world, but be he transformed by the renewing of our mind. Hello, somebody. Be transformed by the renewing of our mind. 
that means our heart got to be changed. Uh, amen. Somebody, uh, do you know that when God pulled us out uh, of some situation, uh, it meant that God uh, wanted to protect us. Uh, amen. Somebody, uh, it means that God uh, wanted to change us totally, uh, that we can live for him. Uh, amen. Somebody, uh, that we can walk with him, uh, that we can talk with him. Uh, when our mind is transformed, uh, we can't walk and talk uh, like the world. Uh, hear me, uh, I hear Peter, Peter said, uh, you see, can you dress up a pig? Uh, you can wash a pig. Uh, amen. Wash him down well. Uh, you can put a bow tie uh, on him. Uh, you can put him in a jacket. Uh, amen. Somebody. Uh, you can put a white boot uh, on his foot. Uh, foot, uh, foot uh, and you let him go. Uh, he's mine. Uh, hallelujah. Remain uh, the mind of a swine. Uh, and if you show him a pig, uh, a man. Uh, He's going to walk back uh, right there uh, and he's going to walk. Uh, oh, glory to God. Uh, but when God changed you uh, and transformed you, uh, he said to don't go back uh, to the pit. So let me tell you something. Truth is, I'm a man who write my sermons than God. This man in the astral and said, God, what me do I say? God, this man will finish this. Uh, hallelujah. We just come finish the reset that he has. Uh, so we never have no thought uh, and process. Uh, but I come to tell somebody uh, we can't continue to live that way. Uh, amen, somebody. Uh, hallelujah. Our hearts need to be changed. Uh, amen, somebody. Uh, I said our heart, our mind, our thoughts uh, need to be changed. Uh, then I speak up here, say somebody cry out and say change. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, lose your bad ways. Uh, amen, somebody. Hallelujah. By the renewing of your mind. That he may prove uh, what is the good uh, and perfect and acceptable will uh, of God. Uh, so God wants to walk. Do they want to walk with me? Hello? Anybody know what I'm talking about? But he can walk with us. Let me use the word for so that he may invite us a pastor. I mean, directly saying this, you know, because sometimes when I'm in church, people say, Pastor, they uh, have this in me and all that. Uh, but they are set to us. Uh, God won't walk with us. But you always near to me, man. That's what we talk to. Uh, God won't walk with us. Uh, but he can't walk with us in this condition. Uh, he said he does not pour new wine uh, in a whole uh, dirty vessel. Uh, and if we continue to live, uh, oh, glory to God, uh, the way we are living, uh, oh, God, God, cannot pour out anything uh, into the dirty vessel. Uh, amen. How many persons know uh, every time you're going to cook, uh, you make sure your vessel is clean. Uh, you ain't going to pour uh, water into a dirty vessel uh, to prepare a fresh uh, meal to eat. Uh, God cannot pour out uh, into a dirty vessel. Uh, amen. Somebody. Uh, we can't climb a bed uh, of fornication uh, and adultery and come to church uh, to praise God. Uh, can I preach up here? Uh, oh, glory to God. Uh, I say, you can't. Uh, you can't. Hello. Amen, somebody. Don't blame me. Blame the Holy Spirit. Don't, don't, don't blame me. Get out. You know, go say you don't go farmers. You get, come on. You get anything. First time we will go to Delphi, I'm not a doctor for Delphi. 
was only one prayer. Uh, I tell you, I will know where we met each other. We get one back and we wash it up. Uh, not you. Uh, we use one more time set and we make sure. Uh, oh God, it's clean because it will not sure. Uh, any medication into the dirty bottle. Uh, God cannot chew uh, any medication uh, in a dirty bottle uh, until you are transformed uh, by the renewing uh, of your mind. Uh, come on, somebody. Uh, judge, yes, I'm ready. Uh, Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. What is happening today? Can I tell somebody one of the problems we find today is that uh, hallelujah people are saved uh, but they are not delivered uh, amen somebody uh, God saved them uh, but they are not delivered uh, from the past uh, they are not delivered uh, somebody shouted uh, they are not delivered uh, yes somebody uh, we walk in, in church uh, going to but we are not delivered uh, from the things of the past uh, somebody was still telling lies. Uh, amen, somebody. Uh, not delivered from lying. Uh, amen, church of the living God. Uh, but I want to tell somebody up here. Uh, amen, somebody. Uh, we still not delivered uh, from our bad ways. Uh, we still disobedient. Uh, amen, somebody. Uh, we are still walking contrary uh, because we are not transformed uh, by the renewing of our mind. Uh, but I come to remind somebody body today, uh, whether you're online or in church, uh, hallelujah, uh, that you can't go to heaven uh, with a carnal mind. Uh, come on, church of the living God. Uh, you can't go to heaven uh, with a carnal mind. Uh, you see in heaven, uh, there'll be no bitterness. Uh, there is no strife. Uh, amen, somebody. Uh, no liar can make it to heaven. Uh, amen, church of the living God. Uh, oh, you don't hear me, somebody. That is earthly things. Hello. That is earthly things. But we can't. We can't. We can't tell. We can't tell them and say, hey, "You see, you can't go like that. We can't go like that. We can't go like that." It meant somebody. Yeah. We can't live here like that. Uh, amen, church of the living God. Amen. Let me run along. Uh, so Job went on to say in Job 14, uh, Hallelujah, my brothers and sisters, uh, for there is hope uh, of a tree uh, if it be cut down, uh, that it will sprout again. Uh, my brothers and sisters, uh, if you have been cut down by situation, uh, Amen, somebody cut down uh, by the enemy, uh, cut down by your past life, uh, cut down by the issues of life. Uh, there is hope uh, in Jesus. Uh, there is hope for change. Uh, there is hope for transformation. Uh, amen, somebody. Uh, there is hope. Hello. There is hope for those who have been cut down. Uh, by the devil, uh, as long as you're alive, uh, you have hope in God uh, that he will change you. Uh, amen, somebody. Uh, there are some folks chuckling. Uh, amen, but there is hope uh, that God uh, will turn them around. Uh, amen, church of the living God. Amen, somebody. There is hope that it will, hallelujah, that it will, that it will sprout again. Amen, church. That it will sprout again. How many persons know that at times in our lives as believers, we have been cut down? Hello? How many of us know that at times in our lives and our faces, we are still smiling? Amen. Seems like everything is going well. Uh, 
hallelujah, on the outside. Uh, oh, glory to God. Uh, but inside, uh, we have been cut down by the enemy uh, in the church of the living God. Uh, but there is hope today uh, in Jesus Christ. Uh, there is hope in King Jesus. Uh, there is hope in the Lord. Uh, oh, glory to God. Uh, amen. But if a tree uh, is cut down, can you imagine uh, a tree of hope uh, to spring again? Uh, then how about me? Uh, hallelujah. I have hope in Jesus uh, that I'm going to walk again. Uh, I'm going to praise God uh, again. Uh, oh, glory, glory. Uh, if I cast away my bad behavior, my God, my God, uh, and start walk right uh, with God, uh, there is hope for me. Uh, amen, church. But I come to tell somebody. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> you see, when you reject God's warning, <laughs> reject God's calling, <laughs> reject God and keep on rejecting God when he's warning you uh, and telling you uh, that you need to modify your behavior uh, that you need to change uh, and you continue the same way uh, when you cut down uh, oh God uh, then you cannot change again uh, do you know that some folks uh, even before they die uh, they have been cut down and they can't even open their mouth uh, to say, Lord of mercy. Hello? But there is hope for a tree. Am I making sense that it will sprout again? Like hardship can leave us in disappointment. Hello? Life hardship can leave us disappointed. I start here, God. Did you know that? You know that believers blame God? Yeah, man. Life hardship. I said, God, your word said, a cat and a thousand years long, you can't do it. We have never seen the writers. I said, can I speak in bread? Archie. I went, Archie, come and say, God, you said that, you know, and do it for me. So you cut me down. You, you allow me to go down to this low level. Then I have to go back to where I'm coming from. That I can achieve. Oh, glory to God. Am I talking to somebody? Oh, God. Ah, can I make it? Hope is not in money. My God. I say something. I'm looking for safety already. Hope is not a man. Or in a husband. That's some person. They're not getting oh, no married. Okay. They say, oh, well, husband, so I have to walk up the road. No, 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 I church. Better if I can go. And so we have to go to the church and go find my husband. Uh, that because no, no, inside of the church, may I preach, you know, uh, and God, they said, they that wait for the Lord uh, shall renew their strength, uh, they shall mount up the things like people. Uh, and you say, God, if you are wait on you, you know, uh, hallelujah, they are wait. Uh, and you say, they will go out here. Uh, but I come to tell somebody, when God say, wait, just wait. Uh, oh, just look at you and say, when God say, wait, uh, just wait. Hello. I'm saying just wait. And I saw him, I saw him say no. And so then, and because, because you can't wait, you go out there. And then you run, come back to pastor. And say, pastor, you see a man you can't wait. And him tell you, oh, you love me, look at my eyes. Look at me fierce. But what God was saying to you, wasn't saying to me, he said, wait, he was saying to you, wait. Uh, but you want to take it 
by force. Uh, amen, somebody. Uh, oh, I, I'm not saying uh, get married. You're not get married. Yeah. But I'm going to show you when God said, wait, he mean wait. He mean sit down and wait. Uh, because he might provide. Uh, amen, somebody. Uh, glory to God. Uh, amen. Can I preach a little bit more? Uh, hallelujah. So life hardship can leave us difficult things cause us not to trust God. Challenges cause us not to trust God. Because you know the problem David in Psalms I think he's 70 or 72 David said when he looked the prosperity of the wicked. David said, oh God, man, the almost slip. Me, me almost give up. The almost show in the towel. When me see me come to church, I care and drop an offering. And me see how does they pay them half? Oh, glory to God. Huh? When I look around me, those going to the supermarket, pushing the big trolley, huh? and I only can walk huh? and look. Huh? I almost sleep. Huh? But he went out to say, it is just temporary. Huh? Amen, somebody. Huh? Amen, church of the living God. Huh? Because when God raises you up, huh? nobody can put you down. Huh? I said, when God builds you up, huh? nobody can put you down. When God bless you, no man can curse you. When God bless you, nobody can take away your blessing. So you forget your blessing. Because you can't get it. Hello? When God blesses you, you know, you just say, you keep them bad man. You know what you keep them bad man. You know what them people are. Keep them bad man, you see. I want them to see me have them. Then can get any job of you. you. So the only thing where they can get is by from you. And even if them kill you, they still can't get it. Hello? Because it was hand on to your generation. But that's why I don't miss it. People anything. You never know what they have here. They look at them. Come here, my good they look at and say, bless me now, Lord. Uh, Oh God, uh, you don't hear me. Uh, say, bless me, bless me, Lord. Uh, expand my borders. Uh, uh, increase me. Uh, oh, glory to God. Uh, hello, church. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody just uh, to understand uh, what I was saying here. Uh, amen. But yet, hallelujah. But, but this verse, which I've read, this verse. Remind us that hope cannot, that hope can, that hope can spring forth even in the midst of this year. Hello? Hope cannot spring up even when you are despairing out. Even in the midst of that. Even in the midst of your problem, even in the midst, we just say, God, we want a job. And not, not, no, not coming. Uh, who just jump up uh, and say, Here am I. Uh, hello, somebody. Uh, oh, glory to God. Uh, you got to understand who God is. Amen. There's hope for a tree. Amen, somebody. There is hope, Samantha. Amen. For a tree. How about you? Amen. In spite of that, in the midst of this year, and that the tender branches thereof will not cease. Hello. When you spring up, when God fill you up, when God pull you out, when God set you up, hallelujah, when God Oh, glory to God. When God allow you, 
Hallelujah. To begin to grow. Uh, oh God, nothing can stop you. Uh. The writer said, I'm like a tree uh, that is planted uh, by the water. Uh, amen, somebody. Uh, oh, glory to God. Uh, when a tree is planted by the water, uh, by the waters, uh, the leaf will always be green. Uh, if the root will go down deep. Uh, I hear somebody sing a song. I shall not be moved, uh, for I am like a tree uh, that is planted uh, by the water. Uh, I shall uh, not be moved. Uh, can I tell somebody up here, uh, don't let anybody move you. Uh, I promise you anything uh, to move you uh, out of the hand of God. Uh, young people, uh, don't let anybody promise you. Uh, oh, glory. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. There's hope. Hallelujah. In Jesus. Amen. But we got to change. Amen. Hallelujah. You see, as human, as believers, uh, amen. Like a tree that regenerates after being cut down. We too can experience the renewal and a fresh beginning. My brothers and sisters, so let me break it down. I said, what happened? So let me break it down. Use a single banana tree. We don't put down a banana tree. No beer or planting. You have to cut it down, not you. But the roots still live in the ground. Oh, glory to God. But after a while, when you look, you see fresh. You don't bother again. Uh, the Holy Ghost uh, is like water, but it's not water. Holy Ghost uh, will allow you to bud and spring uh, again. Uh, the Holy Ghost uh, will allow you to shout again. Uh, the Holy Ghost uh, will allow you to praise again. Somebody need a refreshing. Amen. Amen. Somebody. Hallelujah. So when we renew, when we renew, as we said, we we are fresh beginning. Amen. You know, a long time somebody would give a praise God. We can have a shout, Hallelujah. We shout, Oh God, we cut down so much problem and suffering. Other people problem, everything. Mash with them, we can't really praise God. Ay, 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 ay. When we come to the house of worship, we can hardly uh, say thank you, Jesus. Uh, because our mind cannot be stayed on God. Uh, amen, somebody, that our mind cannot be stayed uh, upon God because of struggles and problem despair so we just come we come in on her we are looking so we can't praise god huh? we, are, we, 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 are, we are saying to ourselves oh god uh, i have a struggle here i have a problem there and i have one there and i have one there and i have one here huh? but i come to tell you in spite of this huh, you can praise god huh? you can lift up your hand huh? and praise god huh? you can lift your voice and praise god huh? somebody praise him huh? Praise your way out of problem. Praise your way out of struggle. Hello. I tell you this. 
Amen. So there's hope for the tree. God gives hope to the hopeless. God gives what? Hope to the hopeless. We are living in a world to find so many hopeless people. And the children of God cannot walk with those who is without hope. Amen, somebody. We are a people of hope, believing in God. Amen. Paul in Corinthians, Second Corinthians says, Now the Lord is that spirit. And we are the spirit of the Lord. Here is liberty. So liberty means freedom. Somebody say freedom to praise. Somebody tell your next neighbor, say, neighbor, you're free to praise God. You're in the house of liberty. Uh, you're not in your workplace. Uh, you're not in, oh, glory to God. Uh, you're not somewhere or somebody going to shut you down. Uh, and you, 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 you can't, you, 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 you can't, you can't, you, 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 you can't, praise God. Somebody lift your hand, uh, throw up your hands in here uh, and praise God. Uh, you're the place where you can praise him. Uh, you're free to glorify uh, the name of Jesus. Uh, somebody praise him. Uh, Never call the name of Jesus uh, until you start feel light. Uh, sometimes we feel so we can't praise God. Uh, we feel the burdens. Hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. Feel so heavy. Uh, sometimes we feel a heavy weight. Uh, and we pray we can't praise God. Uh, but I come to tell us today. Uh, hallelujah. Burdens. Uh, lifted at Calvary. Uh, we are a praise and liberty. Uh, to praise God. Uh, then you praise him. Uh, then you glorify God. Uh, You will shake off some weight. Amen. So Job speak about hope for a tree. Amen. Ezekiel make a statement in Ezekiel 37 verse 2. He speak. Amen. Somebody. When he was talking here, was talking about change. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters, uh, and, he, and he said, uh, and he caused me to pass by them uh, round about, uh, and behold, there were very many uh, in an open valley, uh, and they were very dry. So notice this. Notice this. Job said, There's hope for that tree. It's cut down. Ezekiel. Make the statement now that there were bones, dry bones, in a open valley, exposed to the world. Amen. They were not covered. They were not behind walls. They were not in their graves. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. They were cast uh, in an open area. Uh, what I'm saying, my brothers and sisters, uh, sometimes we feel so dry uh, and hopeless uh, that we can't do nothing else uh, than sit down uh, looking around us. Uh, but I want somebody to know, uh, glory to God, uh, that God brings hope uh, even to the dry bones. Uh, they can live again. Uh, tell your neighbor, dry. Uh, because even if you are dry, today. You can live again. Mm. 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 Hallelujah. You see, uh, the church of the living God must have substance in this time and season. You know, so I go on. Go on with. And we feel dry and hopeless. Hello. You just watch TV the other day. So smart, you know, watch TV. Watch news. You see flood in Italy. Wicked, vicious flood. They have never seen such. Many persons, they still look at people. 
Amen. Somebody, how much on the person? What shall we host and care of that? Yeah, everybody asks you that. They ask you, what happened to the world? Climate change. Them, them say climate change. So, let me go with you now. Them say climate change. Uh, and, the new, and, the new, and the new land, them say climate change. Uh, so we are going to see a climate change. Uh, hurricane season is now gone. Uh, but a whole for them back up inside of the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, even this morning. Uh, them say climate change. Uh, but I want somebody to understand uh, that Jesus made a statement uh, to the church, to the believers. Uh, amen, somebody. Uh, to the believers. Uh, touch yourself and say, I'm a believer. Uh, Jesus made a statement to us. Uh, and he said, when you see these things, uh, look up. Uh, redemption dry now. Uh, can I talk to us? Uh, we can't stay dry. We can't stay dry up. And we cannot continue. Hello. Am I making a little sense here? Cannot stay this way. So Ezekiel said, cause me to pass by. Open body and they were very dry. Even in a season when we feel spiritually dry, dry, or cut down, God loves, gives hope. I said, even when we feel, feel spiritually dry up and feel cut down, God loves, bring us hope. You know, the song we sing at school, after school we learn it, you know. Or big song, you know. Jesus loves me, this I know. But we think of the children then. His love gives us hope when we are going through all these challenges. You don't want to. Some of you are not going through it. So you don't need more hope. Because you're not going through. You see, when a man is going through certain things, when a person is going through challenges, yours are not mine. Hello? Yours are not mine. So I need the love of Jesus. Amen, somebody. Hello. Do you know? Do you know that the church would give hope to the hopeless in this time? But watch this. I'm telling you this. Say that. Oh, will the world not touch you, Janata? Eh? You know the world don't know? Hello? Let me preach it up. What do you think the world don't know? The way we love each other. Ah. The way we do what? So if we ask them, let me ask them, we love you. But if you ask you, you love that person, you know, you kind of like that one. Does that make sense? I'm making sense. I'm, making sense. I'm just saying this. That Jesus said the world, the unbelievers, will understand the weirdness how we treat each other. Amen. When one secret one look at that person and take care of that person, Am I making sense uh, here to somebody here? The world will know. So when we go to the taxi, I put something in I use Sunday. So when we drive now on taxi, seven years. And I drive one on a taxi, you know. Our TV is come side. I mean, I keep my mouth, you know. No, man. I mean, start eat drones. We start flood drones. Oh, I remember him. I mean, I beat him. I hear the world now. You see the church and you see the blessed day. You know, I have them church. You know, I you have know, them church. The feast of the church of the earth. And the ministry of Jesus of the earth. So sometimes when we are misbehaving ourselves, we think we're the earth lime at church. So, wait. When you cut down, wait. Till when you turn up, I judgment bar. 
And you'll see Jesus come so. Stop. I can't make you understand, you know. You know, I said, me don't know you. You remember your behavior with that. Can I tell you, everything we do in Christendom, angels record it. And it will come up against us. And it will be a judgment. But that's why I may say, a change, you know. So, what Sammy said, you know, for what? Walk at Moses. At the Atlantic. I walk. Stand in the ways of sinners. So when turn me a check bonds in a taxi. And they say, oh, that man managed to come. And I said, you know, to the best side of you. I have to make sure, you know, uh, what I say. That man may, may come out of the church. Uh, they may teach you. Know, should you go there again? I'm not better man one day. Should you go there? I remember. I still remember when they come and say that. You know, I said them out said that out there. Oh, so let me make it clear. No, me make it clear. That sometimes goes away. All right. And when you do that, this person will talk to when the plant come at you. I know about that come. Let me show you something. You see, that's the case of open. What we are saying. And sometimes they might talk how we are laughing. Yes, they might laugh, man. Are you enjoying to I talk to Miss May I preach and teach today? That is a problem. And so when Jesus comes, some of us don't miss the mark. Because what we should have been doing, we love each other, we don't do this, we don't do that. And, 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 then, and, then, and then we hurt the ministry. Make a, get that straight? You're not hurting like my church. You're hurting. Kingdom, the ministry of Jesus Christ. So we have to understand the thing, and sometimes because you don't talk, you don't tell you how the thing works, you have to preach hard sometimes, you have to make you know the truth. So that's why Ezekiel said, God said to him, can these bones live? That's how the people speak over them life. And said, no hope in God. Said, God cast them away. And said, because they would, it was not literal dry bones in the valley. It was the house of God, Israel, dry up. Just like all the church today. Go oh, glory to God. The church today, cut off God, living in the flesh, speaking what we want to speak, do what we want to do. So God said, Ezekiel, Ezekiel, can these bones live? He said, God, you know, you don't know because these type of people, stubborn and rebellious generation. Amen, somebody. Do you know that some of us uh, in the kingdom are stubborn uh, and rebellious? Uh, when you ask to do something, we don't do it. All right. Find somebody else and do it. That I watch God now. That's all right. You're cool. We don't ask if you do not worry. I mean, I'm not sure. You have heard the fell. And God, He has heard God. One man can feel you and me when we rebel against God. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. Can these bones live? He said, God, you know. He said, man, son of man. Prophesy. Talk to these bones. Amen. But Job said, Down the root, thereof walks whole in the earth, and the stuff thereof died in the ground. Hear me, somebody. In spite of what has happened, there is hope you can turn around. Change can come. Amen, somebody. Change can come. Yet down this the scent of water. Oh, my God. Since the origin buried the whole of water. I see some different type of plant that spring up. I don't know where them come 
from uh, we in the world, but then just start to bring up all uh, about the place. Can I tell somebody? Uh, oh, glory to God, the water uh, and bring them back to life. Uh, they, were, they were dead in the ground. Uh, water, the water, bring them back. Uh, some of us, uh, amen, have said that the food is not full of it. Done. You can't make it. Uh, but I want to tell somebody uh, that God just wants to glory you to glorify Him. Uh, amen. Somebody to praise Him. Uh, and He will turn everything around. Uh, amen. Somebody. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, God is the source of life. Even what seems hopeless. God is life. He gives life. He will strengthen you. Amen. He will strengthen you. You don't know that. Which we need in this time and season. Hear yeah, what? Well, I, I'm going back to, to, the, to Ezekiel. Then said he unto me, Prophesy to the weak. Prophesy, son of man. Say to the weak. God said, So speak to the weak. That may just read upon these. The slave. Sometimes, my brothers and sisters, they are part of us, amen, which we just cannot make it. We have been cut down in certain areas of our lives. But God is saying, thus said the Lord, hallelujah, thus said the Lord, hallelujah, huh? come from the four winds of the earth, speak to the wind. Huh? My brothers and sisters, huh? we can speak to our situation huh? Amen. We can speak to what we are going through. Huh? That change will come in our lives. Huh? That's why Job 23 said, decree a thing huh? it shall be established as it be. Huh? You got to speak to the things which, hallelujah, oh God, allow you not to praise, not to walk huh? worthy. Sometimes we feel unworthy to praise God. Anybody ever feel unworthy to praise God? Yeah, man. Will open. So we got to realize that even that we cut down, we can spring come again. Amen. We can come again, bring better fruits. You never know that. Hello? You know that when you cut down one tree, a fruit tree, and you come up, you force. I guess what? The root mature. Amen. Push out some branch, man. You look and see the type of who just not get. You say, the old they will stay so before. Uh, amen, somebody. Sometimes when you're down and out, uh, when you get back and begin to praise God, uh, your glory to God, you're wondering uh, where this praise was before. Uh, amen, church of the living God. Uh, oh, glory, glory. I'm going to finish. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Uh, oh, glory to God. Tell somebody I'm going to sprout again. Tell your neighbor, slap your neighbor and say, neighbor, uh, I'm going to sprout. I'm going to sprout again. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to sprout again. I'm going to sprout again. Anybody here, you want to sprout again? You know, you, you, you know where you used to praise. You know where you used to praise God. You know where you used to praise God. You know when you walk upright with God. You know when you used to walk upright with God. You know when you used to walk upright with God. I can tell you the truth. When, 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 when you leave your home, and when you reach close to your, to your gate, huh? you sure, sure, sure if you're on a taxi, even if you're asleep, huh? something tell you, say you're near gate. Huh? Amen, church of God. I said something inside, say no, say you're close. Wake up. Now do like me. Something tell you, I can't tell this much, you're in the run. I mean, me, 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 tired, tired, huh? Oh, glory to God, those days. <laughs> so me left a sun, sun splash. Uh, 
I watch them when call it. I may have some family member down here. It's a long time in the talk. I may have to care about my cousin and go clarin down. And the train to me come home early and get them and catch the train. And when to clarin down when I was coming back, God is a Good God, I was coming up at the last stop. A man to go be here is when we reach the last stop. Somebody weep the pants. You reach. If I was going further, God, if they had a nation, what I'm saying to us, something, oh, glory to God, is saying to me, it's time for us, hallelujah, to spring up again. Oh, church of God, spring again. Spring again. Spring again. And stay the way when you come back. Hello? Hello? You don't know. Oh, hear me? These kids don't play a game again, they play them phone. Hello? Them phone them live on. So they ask them, they don't go outdoors. So the sun can help them. Amen. They can't get no vitamin from the sun. That's why they lock up the house. From morning till night. But there's a game. What do you call this one again? Skip. Say so when I run out, are you going to hear me? Ah. Say so when I run out. Yes, you run in. And that's so hard work. Anytime you run out, you run out. Hello? So if you run out, you have a chance now to run in. So when you run in, stay in. Somebody praise the name of Jesus. Somebody give Jesus praise. Glory to the name of Jesus. Stand with me. It's right, it's the one. So I'm giving it quite enough time before rain starts. Come to Jesus. Hallelujah. You know this song? Jesus. Jesus. There is something.
Amen. The writer said, What shall a man give for his soul? The kingdom, USA, too fast. All the great nations, great kings, great men. All of that soon gone. But today, we can be renewed in our mind. My brothers and sisters, my friends, you have to come to prayer. Can I tell you the truth? 
The truth is, you know, while we are coming to church, all of us, you know, we are just preparing for the coming of Christ. We remain coming that we can keep close to him. That's what we are doing, you know, for his coming. And so, situation will always be. And that's why I like to use the same text of bread to put in verse 1. So, we cannot allow problems to separate us from God. He said that a man that is born of a woman have a few days to live and full of trouble. So, problems are always around us. So, we can't let these things separate us from God. And so, the most important thing is for those who are not scared to give their life to Christ. I am going to say this, and then I'm going to pray. Now, the young lady, what I said that yesterday morning, the first early part of September, just before our camp meeting, she called me. Get a call that you want to talk to me. Explain this. And I, and I just well, said, I can't understand Jesus. I mean, I, mean, I try to understand that context. And, and, and he, she said to me, You know, I said, well, What happened? And she started talking to me. I said, Okay. I start to lead her to Christ. Make sure I ask her, You believe? Jesus can see him. He said, yes. You believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and, and we talk and we say, yes. And when she says, yes, we accept Jesus as Lord and Savior. He said, okay. I'm going to try to show you. Now. She said, he said, you want to baptize? She said, yes. He said, when? Morning or evening? She said, morning. Now, if a person decides to you know, follow Jesus, and you offer them water baptism, and they say, no, they're not saved. Guaranteed. But the Bible says, repent and be baptized. So as, if you repent, you don't want to baptize. Repentance come first. All right. I was, look at the scripture, Jesus speak about work, feed. That the one who, the work of came in at the last hour, Get the same pay. The same salary. Just like man who start all the burden. Like how we start in the, in the eat here and this. That's what he said, you know. And I said to myself, oh, that works out. Anyway, at the baptism service, all the witnesses were there. You know what the young lady said that yesterday came to me forcefully. She said, when she was testifying, she said, Miss Sick, Sister Christine can't be a meal. Miss Sick, three years now. And if God saved me, be alive, he can come, turn and baptize. No. It must be a reason. Because many persons, women, see when me die and leave me here. God, I don't know if you miss is that enough. Your business. Because I don't mean to see people. It's God. But oh, hear me. You know the beauty about this? As a preacher, she never wait until people say, Lord, have mercy. And that's how we believe us. She makes sure repent, baptize. She come and can't be in. Nice. See that? Never give for my worship service my son. And she can't know. Gone home. Gone home. I want to say to us, and it, 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 it I, I tell you, it, it really reach to me spirit, you know. I said to a pastor the other day, you hear me? When I go to funerals, I don't look at the dead. Very rare. Very rare. You know what? Because I keep on burying, burying people over and over. And I said, well, then, you will get hurt. Pastor said to me, he said, he went home and started crying. 
It's all of the gas them just come up in front of you. You just send this to somebody. Say, God, are you? Last, when it comes to Christian, steal. You like, you can tell her, said, steal the fire we like. Steal. Stay. Stay. Because our problem, we can't solve them. We are trying to solve the problem. It cannot be solved by you. Amen, somebody? So I'm saying to you, my friend here, you are not here. You have an opportunity? Give me. I will say, give God a chance. Give your life to God. Because if I give you a chance, you can't go back to my life. If you don't suit you, you don't leave it. Amen? That makes sense? Start giving God a chance. Turn your life over to him. Allow him to take full control. I'm just saying this. I'm saying this, you know. Because, I just said from the heart, we have a federal report here. And then we have one year, I think it's the last Saturday this year. Right here. And then, after that one, Sister Aline funeral service. You know, you hear me? I'm saying this what if it means any sense to it? It means any sense to every year, sir? Hello? Does it mean anything to us? I'm just saying I love God. Father, in the name of Jesus, there are many situations here. Which we have no control of. I pray in the name of Jesus that you are the problem solver. I pray, Almighty God, in the name of Jesus, your word said we should pass our tears upon you because you're here for us. These, your sons and daughters, have issues in their lives. But I pray even today that they may experience your hope when they feel hopeless. I pray that they may experience your love when they feel unloved. I pray that they may experience your joy when they feel like there is no joy. I pray, God, in the name of Jesus, that if they are sick in their bodies, I pray that they may bring healing and deliverance. I pray for comfort and peace when there is no peace. Hallelujah. Because your peace passes all understanding. And so today, if they don't know you as yet as Lord and Savior, I ask that the Holy Spirit may reveal you, Christ, to them. That they may accept you as Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. Because we know that you will return one of these days to pay every man a cardinal. You know, to their work shall be. Whatever the situations are, there's nothing too hard for you to do. Hallelujah. Touch your people. Oh God. Allow them to bother again. Allow them to laugh again. Allow them to overcome the powers and the works of them. Thank you for what you have done and what you are doing. Their hearts and their lives. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. My friends, you came here, you're not, you're not saved, you're not a believer. You're not a believer. You're not a believer. I'm just saying to you, this is one more opportunity. Amen. Just an opportunity to say yes to Jesus. That's all I can offer. Amen. Just an opportunity to say yes to Jesus. So if you want to walk up here from here to say yes to Jesus, then I just need that mission of your heart. If you just want to say yes to Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen, somebody. I, as soon as I finish, I'm going to talk to you. Praise the Lord. Somebody give the Lord praise. You see, this is one of the things we
sin. With a rich life. The man who died for sin, the joy is sin. Amen, somebody? So that there is rejoicing in the presence of who? The angel. So the rejoicing is one. Amen, somebody? And so we rejoice and we give the Lord thanks and praise. Amen. All right. God bless you. Thanks again for coming. And, you know, uh, please, please, please remember those who, uh, the brothers know the obligation, the rally. Uh, we want to make it work. My brothers and sisters, whatever, this is it. And for the ladies, you have the obligation. Oh, you're flying?